What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Honeystead. The other day I loaded up the Harvest Right freeze dryer and it is now done. So for my instant gratification people, you will see the, well, put me putting it in, pushing a button. Just imagine, you know, like a day or so and then look at it, it's done. <laughs> If you guys have been following me for a little while, you guys probably know that my freezer tends to turn into the land of unknown. And then what happens is I put stuff in there and then I just kind of forget about it. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I remembered I put that in there. Well, that's kind of what happened to this, this scenario right here. I decided um, to make up a whole bunch of salsa. Um, and I didn't feel like canning it this time because if you have kind of been following with like the freeze drying things that I freeze dry, um, the one of the last ones that I did or one of my favorite ones that I've done so far is um, freeze drying some guacamole. So I figured, well, what goes good with guacamole? We're gonna put some salsa in there and if you're interested in watching that, like I'll try to put that video down below. But <laughs> this whole obstacle of me making the salsa, putting it in the freezer, and then remembering like, oh, I actually need to go ahead and get it loaded up in, in the freeze dryer. Yeah, that's my bad. Uh, I tend to do that, so I'm not alone. But what's nice about having a freeze dryer and freeze drying things is even if I forget about this in a bag, like this is gonna last me for up to 25 years. So, I'm, I'm okay with kind of forgetting about it in the in the, the Mylar bags. But I went ahead and freeze dried four trays of salsa. Um, this means a lot to me, uh, especially since we're kind of going into the gardening, this next gardening year. And I know that many of you probably um, heard about my tomato high tunnel hornworm devastation. I, I, I lost all of our tomatoes, all of our tomato plants last year to a hornworm infestation in the high tunnel. Um, long story short, it was a blessing in disguise uh, because my neighbor was blessed with an abundance of tomatoes and without even knowing Without even knowing that I didn't get to can any of my salsa, I didn't even get to can any of my um, spaghetti sauce, uh, which is what we what we eat throughout the winter until the next gardening season. Um, he didn't know, and so you know, I just I I love how I just love how God works sometimes, you know, and. This right here, this is the salsa that I, I went ahead and, and made up with the intention to freeze dry and pair it with some guacamole because I plan on doing some hikes this year. This is gonna be a great way for me to kind of like have a snack, um, but I just had to just bring that up because it, it does put a smile on my face. Um, the story behind the salsa. So yeah, let's get this in a bag. So when I make up my salsa, I, I basically put kind of just the, the basics, you know, some peppers, some onion, all the seasonings. I'll try to put it down below so you can kind of get an idea on what I put in here. Um, and I'd have to actually look at my recipe because it's been a hot minute. Like I said, I made it, I put it in the freezer, walked away, just gone, forgot about it. Um, but it is really good and it is, very yummy. So what I think, what I think it'd be fun to do is to kind of show you um, how it reconstitutes. Now, when you freeze dry, you 
I'm gonna pull up a chair. <laughs> When you freeze dry um, food, and there are a few things that you can't freeze dry, like honey being one of them, believe me, I've tried, you can't do it. Um, but there's a process of which it turns, it, it basically will, will pull up out the liquid and turn it into a gas called sublimation. I'm probably saying that right. Um, but we freeze dry a lot of things, you know, so I'll try to do like a refrigerator clean out and then I will freeze dry it each tray might have a different meal on it and it's all leftovers. So instead of it going to waste, which honestly, we live on a farm, I have pigs, <laughs> nothing really goes to waste. Uh, but you know how convenient it is to be able to, to just grab a bag and then put it in a pot and then add some water and reconstitute. I have done that many times when we have had like surprise guests that wanna stay for dinner and I'm like, I wasn't prepared, <laughs> but I will feed you because food is my love language. Um, so for me, it's really a great way to utilize, um, utilize like waste, but then turn it into, not really waste, utilize leftovers and then turn it back into a meal that we could you know, use if we lose power. Um, one of the things that I'm looking at doing, uh, right now I'm just putting this in two bigger Mylar bags, but I am gonna go ahead and get some smaller packs um, so that I can make smaller, smaller packs of, you know, just enough for maybe three or four people versus that would be a lot of salsa. I'm not saying we can't throw it back, but that would be a lot of salsa. Um, so for me, how many did I just put in there? I'm gonna put two. I'm putting two um, of the oxygen absorbers in the larger bag and then I'm gonna go ahead and seal it. But for me, I'm planning on doing like the smaller bags, especially because like if I wanna go on a hike, I can just throw it in my pack and we can go. I'm also looking at doing, um, taking some of our meat that we have and making uh, dog food um, so that we can freeze dry. I can freeze dry Moose's food when we go because if not, I mean, I'm carrying around some heavy stuff. This, this is a lot of tomatoes. And I mean, it's so light. There's no moisture in this. Um, so then basically what I do, I put my oxygen absorbers in and then, did I even turn this on? I did. I did. I'm so proud of myself. I did. I just, then you just seal it. Um, obviously you're going to keep the oxygen out of it uh, because moisture, when moisture does get in this, okay, we got a light. When moisture does get in this, it will uh, reconstitute, and that is where it would go bad. So the moisture in items, which is why honey can't necessarily be uh, freeze dried because there's not enough moisture in it. But I do want to play around with some ideas that I have. And then because I'm super paranoid, <laughs> I will do this again just to make sure. Um, but this has been a great way for me to to really put some food up. I mean, I'm doing this. This thing is running almost all the time. Now lately, I've been guilty and I have not been able to like take you guys and share with you guys some of the things that I have freeze dried. Um, but I did ham and bean soup. Um, I've done recently, like recently, I've done ham and bean soup. My kids just asked me to um, do the ramen soup cups, which I did like mason jar ramen cups. Um, that was a lot of fun uh, and a great way, a, a great alternative for them. So instead of, instead of me buying like ramen cups, um, I made my own. And so I freeze dried all the, all the veggies. Um, flash steamed some of them and then freeze dried everything. We, my mom and I did get attacked by the noodles in the process. That was a great time. <laughs> I might use a different noodle or we might do rice or recently I actually just started making my own pasta. Um, 
I, it's embarrassing. Like I would show you what my pasta looks like, but you're going to be like, Oh wow. <laughs> um, so my goal is to learn how to like really become an awesome pasta maker and then make my own, make my own pasta, um, so that we can do, you know, put it in our soup cups. But those are some of the things that we, we have done. Uh, I also have done, um, strawberry oatmeal um so i've gotten regular oatmeal i freeze dried a whole bunch of strawberries i always like scour the market to see if there's sales because i love a good sale especially if produce is going to be um a lot of produce goes on sale pretty quickly so oh, i probably forgot about that uh so instead of paying full price for certain things i do tend to I do tend to keep an eye out on items that are going on sale. So that is just a little bit more about the freeze dryer. Um, I love the fact that everything that I, I freeze dry can last up to 25 years. I mean, it's a lot of work to can and to grow the food and to do the things. Um, I love canning too, don't get me wrong. We absolutely can a lot of our, our meats, we can a lot of our produce um but for me freeze-dried meals are just simple <laughs> because they're ready to go um so one of the things that i plan on doing is obviously kind of sharing with you guys a little bit more um especially come this gardening season not just with the produce but also with the herbs i freeze dry a lot of my herbs and and if you are interested there are plenty of videos but we're going to go ahead and reconstitute some of the styrofoam salsa <laughs> so you can kind of see it if it's not blurry there it is so the styrofoam salsa is exactly that it is like it's like styrofoam um it's kind of crazy what i've noticed is uh, if I were to just kind of like pop this in my mouth, it's going to be super strong. So I'm not going to do that. Now, when it comes to adding the amount of water into it, there is a whole way of, of measuring it out. A lot of people will like pre-weigh it before it goes into the freeze dryer and take a little note, uh, log it. And then that's how they kind of determine how much water goes back into it. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. I just wing it. Um, I measure with my heart and that is what we're going to do. So I'm just going to, can we see this? Can we see this? Yes. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. That was maybe a little bit too much water and oh, come on. You guys are missing it. Hold on. Let me come around. Let me come around there. Can we see that? And then you just, I added way too much water. <laughs> So it's like salsa soup. <laughs> um, I could open that bag up and add a little bit more, but maybe I should. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute. So really just don't do what I just did and you know, actually do it the right way and get an idea of like maybe how much water you should put in it if you want to do it the right way. <laughs> um, but this is okay because it's gonna be fine. It's, it's it's fine. So I'm adding another chunky styrofoam bit. Oh, actually, I'm gonna we're gonna do this close up. Let me reseal this. That is another reason why I do like these Mylar bags because I can reseal them. Because I've done this. <laughs> I've done this before. All right, good enough. That's great. And then this, these, I will label them. I'll put the date on them. I don't want to think about how old I will be in 25 years when I can eat this again, but maybe one day there'll be like another like follow up. Like I made this 25 years ago. Will it kill me? <laughs> no, it won't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I will be doing YouTube in 25 years. We will see. All right, that's good to go. I'm gonna angle the camera down so you can see this chunky, chunky styrofoam salsa block.
feel like I need a brighter light. Let me mess with my camera. Okay, that might be better. There we go. That's a little bit better. Not so soupy. But look. I mean, it takes a couple of seconds. And it's probably still a little bit crunchy if I were to eat it right now. But, I mean, that is pretty... That's pretty awesome. Now I have to see if I have any chips in here or crackers, or some type of snack. Because that would make it just perfect. Alright, so I found some light rye um, crackers. And that, I mean, look. It looks like salsa. There's nothing, nothing. Uh -huh. There we go. Come on, camera. It looks like, see, it looks like salsa not scary so we're gonna call it space salsa because you know that's the thing mm, that's really good actually it's got a kick to it I can't remember what peppers that I chopped up and put in it Ooh, it's got a little kick to it and a common question that I get asked quite often is is freeze drying like dehydrating um, yes, it will pull out the moisture just like a dehydrator. However, it doesn't cook the items that are, are being freeze dried. So if I put something raw in the freeze dryer, when I go to reconstitute it, it will stay raw. It will just pull out that moisture. Um, the other thing about the freeze dryer is that it maintains the nutritional uh, value of the whatever I'm putting in there, whether it is fresh salsa um, or herbs, um, unlike dehydrating where you do lose potency, uh, especially when it comes to the herbs. But there are a few things that you can't freeze dry, uh, but the list is minute compared to many other things. Um, and it has it's just been a game changer for me on my food preparation and just making sure that I'm being as little wasteful as possible. Did I say that right? Being that I'm not making, <laughs> I'm just trying not to make as much waste. Then really, honestly, it's nice to have some extra food um, that I've cooked. And all I have to do is just add some water to it, especially when I'm not feeling good or if I have visitors or if we are going on a hike and I don't feel like carrying a whole bunch of heavy, heavy meals. I can make my own. So anyways, thank you guys for coming along with me. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys. Oh, cheers. <laughs>